How to handle angry customers? Handling angry customers can be one of the most challenging aspects of a job. Whether they confront you face to face, or you speak with them over the phone, chances are you are going to be met with frustration, aggressive anger, and little patience. The key to successfully managing an angry customer is to remain calm. Understanding the customer's complaint. Remain calm and adjust your mindset. No one likes to get confronted by a yelling, heated person in a public space. However, your job in this situation is to stay cool and collected. While you may have the urge to yell right back at them, fight the urge. Yelling and getting angry will only escalate the situation. Instead, put on your best customer service attitude. Never use sarcasm or obviously fake politeness. Behaving in such a way will only fuel the customer's rage and will make the situation a whole lot worse. Listen actively to what the customer is saying. An angry customer generally just wants someone to vent their anger to and today, you are that person. That means that you need to do your best to listen carefully to what they are saying. Give the customer your undivided attention do not look around, space out or let other things distract you. Look at the speaker and really listen to what they are saying. When you listen to them, listen for the answers to these questions. What happened to make them upset? What do they want? What can you do to help? Separate your feelings from the situation. If the customer is particularly angry, he or she may say something or several things that are really rude. Keep in mind that you should not take it personally he or she is upset with the business, the product, or the service they have been provided with they are not upset with you as a person. You will have to set your personal feelings aside. Keep in mind though, that if the customer becomes too abusive, or seems really threatening, you should tell them that you will go get your supervisor or someone else to help you resolve this problem. When you are walking back to the customer, fill your supervisor or helper in on the situation and explain why you felt you needed to come get them, that is, you felt really threatened etc. If worse comes to worse, you will have to ask the customer to leave. Repeat the customer's concerns. Once the customer is done venting, make sure you know exactly what it is they are upset about. If you are still feeling a little unclear, repeat what you think the customer is upset about, or ask him questions. Repeating the problem back to the customer will show him that you were listening, and will also let you confirm the problem that needs to be fixed. A good way to make sure that you know exactly what the problem is, is to use calm and collected wording like I understand that you are upset. Actively sympathize. Showing empathy will help make the customer understand that you really are trying to help them. Once you have confirmed what the problem is, show them that you feel really bad about it, and completely understand why they are upset. Say something like, I completely understand your frustration. Apologize. Let the customer know that you are genuinely sorry that this happened to them regardless of whether or not you think they are being a bit dramatic about the situation. Along with empathizing. Apologizing can go a long way. Sometimes upset customers just want to have someone apologize to them for the bad service. Hopefully the customer will cool down a bit once you apologize. Offer a possible solution or solutions. Now that you have heard what the customer is upset about, you should come up with a solution to provide them with. If you feel like you know a solution that will make your customer happy, then present it to them. Ask the customer for feedback. If you are not completely sure what would make your customer happy, then simply ask her. What would she like to have be done about the problem? Is there an outcome that would make her satisfied? Say something like, what would you like to have happen? 
If it is within my power, I will see that it gets done. Take action immediately. Tell your customer what you will do next to ensure that the problem is resolved. Give her your contact information, particularly if you are speaking with her over the phone, so that she can contact you if the problem arises again. Follow up with the customer. Give your customer a call once the problem has been resolved. Ask him if everything is going smoothly. When you can, go the extra mile by sending a handwritten apology or by giving him a discount on his next purchase.